Welcome to Xamarin Inform Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use progress bar inside our Xamarin Inform application. So here is my application and inside this application, I am adding a button and on click on this button, it will open a progress bar and it will swing a progress. And this progress bar we are going to implement inside our Xamarin Inform application. So how to achieve this? and how to create this progress bar inside our Xamarin Form content pages. So in our in our application I am using the RG plugin dot pop up and inside this pop up I am using this progress bar. So I am not focusing on this pop up page because this is uh, we already know how to create a pop up page in our application. So in this video we are just going to focus how to create a progress bar. So to create a progress bar just add a progress bar inside the page. So here is my progress bar and remember this the we have to set the progress color and I am setting the color as green and the height request is 20 and the width request and 400 and I'm giving a name a progress bar as progress bar. So that's it. And inside this code behind file, what I am doing that I'm taking a device timer and this device timer will be running with two seconds. Continuously it is running with two seconds. Okay. So uh, so when the device timer is running, you are setting few values. Okay, so first one is max values and remember one thing is the progress bar takes only two values. The first value is zero and the last value is one. So when we the when the progress bar is empty in the first started position is zero and the last position is one. Okay, so remember that when we want to full um, make full the progress bar we have to set the one. Okay, so here is the simple logic. I am adding simple logic for adding the progress bar progress because I am using count progress max is 10 so that it will be completed after 10 times. Means the progress will be the 10 times. Okay, and my max value is 1. So I already said about that the max value always 1. Okay and the progress the first progress is zero so here i am doing one things and i am using from uh, time span dot from second two and with, with the two seconds this timer is running and uh, with two two seconds i am adding the progress bar and i am calculating the progress okay so after calculating the progress we are using progress bar dot progress two and this progress two function will take three parameters the first parameter is progress and this is a value of float and I am setting the progress as a full float okay and here is my all variable is float okay so here I am setting the progress as as a float value and after that the second parameter is for animation how much time it will take to increase the animation it will take 500 millisecond and I am using the linear easing dot linear animation so when the progress will be increases it automatically takes the linear animation with 500 millisecond time okay that's it after after that i am updating my progress level and i am setting my counter and the progress max that's it so for using this simple logic we can create our progress bar so whatever progress bar we have sometimes we are checking the download progress and the down download progress must have the maximum download data if we have the maximum download data after that we can calculate it inside our progress bar logic after that we can set the progress as a limit so whatever we have we have the download data as a memory and as a counter whatever we have we can set the progress bar and using our any code behind logic business logic we can set the progress bar progress okay so that's it for it thank you for watching have a great day